What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and a bit of interesting news today from the two-time back-to-back 1993-1994 blockbuster video game champion, Dr. Disrespect. He has been embroiled in a lawsuit with Twitch that has left most of his viewers and even just people cautious or curious in the case with far more questions than answers. If you remember back about two years ago, it seems like now, um, Dr. Disrespect was at the top of Twitch, maybe not the number one, number one in our hearts, but certainly one of the largest streamers on Twitch, one of the most innovative streamers uh, still to this day, to be quite honest with you. There's very few people that match his intensity, match his production value, match his, um, his character development and, and memes and things of that nature. It's fun to be a member, a card carrying member of the Champions Club as I am. But if you're like me, you've often wondered exactly why was he banned from Twitch? There were a lot of esports reporters that claimed to have insider information and claimed to know exactly what was going on with Twitch. All we really knew was that Twitch was completely silent on the matter and Doc himself really couldn't share much because he was in litigation with them. And rightfully so, I'm sure that he was owed a significant amount of money from Twitch. And also there was, um, kind of this inherent specter of of doubt around him after being banned from Twitch that was likely hurting his ability to gain sponsorships um, with big brands. Now, I know Mountain Dew Game Fuel has stuck with him, uh, but we don't really know how many contracts he lost out or people that stopped getting back out to him. He had made mentions about being on the blacklist at Electronic Arts and things of that nature um, over the years. And it's difficult to know exactly um, you know, what he's lost because, you know, he's not making that kind of stuff public. Well, there's an absolute monster update today. Many people are assuming that Twitch wrote Dr. Disrespect a nice big fat check. I don't exactly know. We're going to have to look at the details um, and you'd be the judge of that. But um, if you got yourself a nice big check and you're looking for a new computer, uh, make sure you check out this video sponsor, Meta PCs. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, Meta PCs. Look, you've been around, you know that I've been talking about Meta PCs for a very long time. In fact, it's the primary computer I use, but it's not just because they're a sponsor. It's for so many more reasons. They have fully customizable, configurable PCs and all the hardest to find parts in stock and ready to go. They also have ready to ship PCs ready for you today. Here's a couple of reasons why I like Meta PCs. First and foremost, it's veteran ownership. Meta PCs is a veteran owned business. One of Meta's owners has served both in Afghanistan and Iraq and received a purple heart for his service. Meta also employs military veterans in Meta's operations center and also provides systems to veterans going back to school to help them re-enter the workforce all across the United States. They offer financing. It has 100% US based sales and support and when you receive your PC, it's ready to go right out of the box. You don't have to get complicated and set things up. You just plug it all in and you're ready to rock. And on top of that, Meta PCs is offering you, my viewer, a huge discount when you use the link in the description or you use promo code THEQUARTERING. If you use my code at checkout, not only do you save money, but you support my content and a company that will not bow to cancel culture. So maybe you're not ready to pick up a new computer today, but when you are, remember to go to metapcs.com and use promo code THEQUARTERING to support me and to save money. And everybody wins. Now to give you a brief overview, this was quite the dilemma. Back on January 25th or 26th of uh, 2021, Dr. Disrespect was banned from Twitch. Doc's account suspension was first reported on January 26th by Twitch partner ban tracking streamer bans. Then the 27th, Dr. Disrespect responded, writing, Champions Cup Twitch has not notified me on the specific reason behind this decision. Firm handshakes to all support during this difficult time. Now, Guy Beam, the guy that plays Dr. Disrespect character, has had a few controversies in the past, but most of that had already been cleared up. And so... You know, I think it was natural to think that there was uh, people assumed the worst because it's Twitch and there are a lot of, um, I don't know, relationship stuff going on there. And it was right around the time where a lot of streamers were getting outed for being creeps. And so that specter fell right or wrong onto Dr. Disrespect. People assumed there was something of that nature going on that they banned him. 
Um, you know, people thought it was because he was negotiating with Mixer, using them against Twitch to renegotiate his contract. It felt really bizarre to have, you know, people get banned from Twitch every single day, but it's extraordinarily rare to have someone as large as Dr. Disrespect. You know, he was probably in the top five or 10 streamers on the platform at the time to be banned and have no statement whatsoever. Now, Twitch doesn't make a habit of actually saying why people get banned, but the internet usually can figure it out pretty quick. In this particular case, no one really knew. There were a lot of wild theories out there, some led by esports reporter Slash, who claimed to know exactly why and claimed that he was going to go to jail, but none of that ever happened. Um, Twitch community, of course, reacting um, to the news. Tim the Tatman says Dr. Disrespect is in talk with Twitch to try and figure out why he's been banned. Rod Breslau, the famous meme, writing, look for several hours now. I've been told from credible sources the reason the doc had been banned. However, due to the importance and sensitivity around the subject, I have refrained from going on it. I don't feel comfortable with it currently. I don't think he ever actually knew. Um, then Twitch ended up going and refunding everybody's subscriptions to him, so it became clear that his uh, ban was permanent. His wife pouring, uh, putting out just the next day about the outpouring of support, love, and strength and kindness from the arena is truly overwhelming. Social media was sent into a frenzy when the footage from Doc's last stream was uploaded that sparked confusion. In the clip, the streamer suddenly goes quiet and says, quote, I appreciate everyone watching today. We'll get through this Champions Club. I know it's tough. Life's weird right now. We're going to get through this and uh, F before abruptly ending his stream. I assume at that point he had received an email or text message that had said, look, he's banned now. Then um, back on August 23rd, he said he knew the reason why he had been banned and he was going to sue the Purple Snake over that and Twitch and all that kind of stuff. Well, nothing's really changed in terms of uh, his position with Twitch, but until today where Dr. Disrespect tweeted out, moving on, I've resolved my legal dispute with Twitch. No party admits to any wrongdoing. And he signs it. Uh, to, in response to all your questions, the doc will not return to Twitch. So, you know, I think the general consensus here is that Twitch had to pay him out some money. Um, if you look at a lot of the quote tweets, man got paid, noted, um, this brings me happiness. Somebody got paid. Happy birthday. Um, I don't know. You know, a lot of times people think, you know, just because you settled a lawsuit that somebody got a huge check. That's not always the case. Um, it could be a very small check. Maybe both parties had decided like it was mutually financially beneficial to walk away from it at this point. Um, you know, Doc has been very critical and I think rightfully so that YouTube while they're pouring out all this money for exclusive streamers to come over to YouTube, they're not putting any money into the platform and it's extremely difficult to actually grow on YouTube. Now, I don't have the exact numbers in front of me, but I can tell you as somebody who watches Doc a couple times a week, you know, his, his product is as good as ever, maybe better, um, but he's not growing at any kind of significant rate on YouTube. He's maintaining, he's earning plenty of money, um, his, vi his videos get decent views, very decent views. As streams, you know, often, you know, 40 to 50, 60,000 people. These are numbers that I could never possibly uh, even fathom reaching. But you would think given his product, if YouTube actually cared, um, you know, he'd be doing 100,000 or more easy. But the thing is, YouTube still isn't really seen as a streaming platform. And a lot of people, you know, is there going to be something leaked after this? I don't know. I have to suspect that uh, one of two things is true here. Either he did get paid, but he probably doesn't feel satisfied. Um, you know, the fact that I think it was probably the bigger nut for him to be able to kind of clear his name and at least have Twitch come out and say like, hey, well, he wasn't some like, he's not some secret ticking time bomb that we banned. And he doesn't get that now because Twitch does not claim any wrongdoing. That said, if he got a huge check, five, six, seven, eight million dollars, ten million dollars, two million dollars, I don't know, um, that's a lot of dough. And um, he probably doesn't care. You know, he spelled Twitch wrote me a big check to say this and then go away. I mean, I would be 
I would be surprised if he didn't get a check. Um, Amazon is a very big company, and this is just bad PR for for them through and through. Um, we're never going to probably know the real story, especially now that there was a settlement, which probably means there's a gag order in place and neither people are going to be able to talk. So we're probably never going to know. Brad Glasgow writing, it's likely Twitch paid him a chunk of money and we'll never know what actually happened. Yeah, probably. Now, I don't know how old he is, but like at some point you do have to move on. And, um, you know, he has addressed that he will not be returning to Twitch. Um, and I didn't think he was going to. Like, even if he had won that lawsuit outright, Twitch wasn't going to invite him back. You know, the new updates comes away with Twitter. First major update since Dr. Disrespect suggested he's taking legal action against the Amazon-owned company. According to the two time, this legal dispute has been resolved and he's moving on from the incident. While do the doc has provided numerous updates since the initial Twitch ban, Twitch hasn't had a peep to say about the situation, despite considerable social media chatter about the incident and criticism about the company's lack of transparency. I can't talk about it, but a lot of people ask me, do you know the reason? Yeah, I do know the reason why now, said the streamer back in August 2021. I've known for months now the reason why, and I'll just say this right now, champs, we're going to sue the F out of them. I don't know how else to put it. The amount of damages, you don't, nah, just no, no. And he's talking about damages to his brand, right? And the specter of doubt that carries over him because of this ban. So, you know, I don't know. Here's what I will say. Doc probably got paid and he probably was not concerned about whatever it was that Twitch might have banned him for because these things would have come out in court. So if he was willing to take Twitch to court, then he was willing to let whatever he thought the reason was that they banned him come to light, which leads me to believe that the two time got a nice little check, probably a little bit larger than winning the blockbuster video game championship. And he'll just move on and keep grinding it. And I can only hope that YouTube is becomes more hospitable to live streamers so that um, he can continue to grow because I think he pushes other streamers to be great. Uh, I think he puts on an excellent show and I know I'm, I'm a bit, you know, fanboying a little bit, but uh, I hope that he got some sense of satisfaction here. Although as somebody who's been through lawsuits, it's rare uh, to feel like you really want anything. I hope you enjoyed this video. All the best to Doc and the Champions Cup. We'll talk to you again real soon.